Hi, this is Jennifer Gonzalez from Cult of Pedagogy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with Evernote. First of all, what is Evernote? It is an online note-taking tool, kind of like an electronic three-ring binder. Evernote allows you to store notes, images, documents, and web pages all in one place. It's an excellent tool for keeping track of all the projects you have going on. Now you can do a lot of really cool things with Evernote, but in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over the basics. I'm going to show you how to create notes in several different ways, how to organize them into notebooks, and how to put your notebooks into stacks. To get started, go to evernote.com and open up a free account. I have done that already, so I'm going to start from there. Now the basic unit of information in Evernote is the note, so I'm going to start by showing you how to create one just by writing it. Now what you're looking at right now is a completely empty Evernote account. Now this is um, I'm just going to refer to this as the old view. Evernote is actually working on a new version, so I'm going to click over just to show you real quickly what that looks like. It's supposed to be a distraction-free version, and we'll take a closer look at that later. I just wanted to peek at it real quickly, and I'll look at it a little bit later. And go back to the original view. Now there are a lot of different ways to create notes, so the first way I'm going to show you is how to just write a note, just do regular typing. So I'm going to set this up as if I am a teacher, uh, and I'm going to create my first note by clicking New Note, I'm going to call this Ideas for Future Lessons. And just start typing like it's a regular Word document. You can create bulleted lists in here. You can bold things, just the way that you would with a normal Word document. And as I type over here, it's going to refresh itself over here. It automatically saves because um, this is online. Another way you can create a note is by uploading it. You can upload files. Let's show you how to do that. So I just click New Note. Suppose I coach soccer. I may want to store a copy of my practice schedule in Evernote. So let's just title this Practice Schedule. Look over here. I can click on Attach a File. Choose my file. Click on Practice Schedule. Attach. And now that is in there. Let's refresh the page. Then I click on the file it's automatically going to download. Now I can do this with other things too. If I want to add an image, suppose again with the soccer, I want to um, I want to inspire the girls that I coach with a photo of the US women's soccer team. So I can attach that, that image. And this image appears right in the screen and I can do the same thing click on it and download let's try something else I can attach a PDF say I've got a registration form and now that's there and one more thing I can attach you can attach just photos that you take yourself ever notice something you can also load onto your phone so if you see some information that you need and there's just not enough time to like actually type up a note or if there's just too much content you can just take a photo of that note and store it in your Evernote so I'm gonna upload one of those another way to add a note is by clipping things directly from the internet Using the Evernote Web Clipper, which is something you can install when you launch your account, uh, you can actually grab things right from the internet and store them in your notebook. So I'll demonstrate how I use mine. I'm using Chrome, but Evernote Web Clipper has versions for iOS and for other different types of, of browsers. So just know that this is something that's available for all different types of browsers. So suppose I find this article on abdominal exercises to improve balance for my soccer players. So I click my Evernote Web Clipper. I'm going to just go ahead and save the whole article instead of some of these other options, but you can always check those out. And when I go back to my Evernote and refresh it, we'll see that the article is there now. And it's in there in full. And even the links to other places actually work. So you really are getting pretty much the full experience of, of having that, that website there. And what's even nicer is that you can actually go in and add your own notes. So I could say, share this with players. And if I wanted to make that really stand out, I could, you know, bold it and make it red or something just to make it really big. But I can actually add my own notes now to my saved copy of this, web, uh, of this website or of this web page. So now, look, I've got, I've got all of my notes here. I've got quite, quite a few of them. What I need to do now is get them organized into notebooks. 
Now, when you start your new account, they're going to have a first notebook, but that's just going to contain all of your notes. I'm going to ignore that for right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into my notebooks tab. Oops. Go into my notebooks tab, click on this arrow here, and create a new notebook. The first one is going to be soccer. And that's going to be all of my soccer related things. So for each of these items now, I can put them into those notebooks. Right now, this is assigned to first notebook. I'm going to just click soccer and it's going to go into that one. The shopping list, I'll move that into the soccer notebook and so on. So I've got this one, ideas for future lessons. I don't have um, anything yet for that. I'm going to create another new notebook, call it lesson planning, and I'm going to move that into, sometimes I never know you have to refresh or things don't appear. So now that first notebook that they created is, uh, is empty, so I can delete it. Now, if I look over here, I've got uh, a way to, to view all of my notes, or I can view just my lesson planning notes, or I can view just my soccer notes. And so I'm going to um, pause the video for a second, and I'm going to create a couple of, of other ones. Okay, so now I've got a bunch of different notebooks. I've created one for faculty meetings, and each one of these is a separate note. You can go to your meetings and take notes and file them away in here. I've got another for department meetings. So now I'm going to show you how to make notebook stacks. This is once you've accumulated a bunch of notebooks, you need to get them more organized into stacks. Suppose I want to put department meetings and faculty meetings together into a single stack. So I'll just click on one of these. I'll click that down arrow and it says add to stack. I'm going to click new stack. I'll just call it meetings. Hit save. Now right now department meetings is inside meetings. If I go to faculty meetings, click on it and drag it over, it is going to appear right in the meeting stack. So what's nice is that now I've got all of these together in one stack. And so that's just another way to sort of set up another hierarchy of your notebooks to keep them organized. So like I did at the beginning, I'm going to show you again that newer beta version. Let's click over. Now this is supposed to be a distraction free version. So I'm just going to show you really quickly. If I just view all of my notes, it's just going to list them all together the way I took them. If I click notebooks, um, it's got my notebooks here in order and then their stacks. See, I can close them and those are my stacks. So it's just a different way of looking at the at your Evernote. I couldn't decide which one to show you because I'm not sure which version they're going to go with permanently, but I have a feeling they're going to be keeping both versions around for a while. If you enjoyed learning about Evernote, you may also be interested in my digital handbook, The Teacher's Guide to Tech. In this book, I pull together over a hundred different tech tools, explain them in plain English, offer ideas for classroom use, link to helpful videos that demonstrate each tool in action, and tell you what other tools are a lot like it. Plus, there's a glossary of over 80 tech terms and a clickable sidebar that'll take you to any place in the book lightning fast. To learn more, visit teachersguidetotech.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.